it is time to corrupt the Oregon's defensive setup. If you want to talk deeper about this, or you got any question, feel free to drop me a question during my streams, or you can join up my Discord community server. You need to know the following calls. Blue L Box T3 T2 T1 and TARP. Having said this, let's defend laundry and supply. What to expect from attackers is a heavy blue push. Loads of utility from the attackers are down there, as well as they will come from the tower stairs and possibly meeting in the higher MMR games. Freezer and the lobby push can happen in the higher MMR games. You might expect a crouch walk engage in the freezer. With having said this, let's see the setup and obviously starting off with the reinforcements. You will need to get all three hatches. Meeting, Freezer, and the Lobby Hash. You will also need to reinforce one wall from the closer to the laundry, closer to the door. This reinforce will enable you to contest the Lobby Push, as well as will give you a good anchor spot for the late Bunker Push. Smoke is really strong here, as he can ignite both pushes, as well as the Freezer Push from here. That's 4 reinforcements. You will need to reinforce the right wall of the supply out of these two. During the action phase, you will reinforce the other one. So this is 6. You will understand later why. The two more reinforcements should go from the blue to the meeting hedge drop. Mind that, this is for the default strats. Some teams prefer having a head level line of sight so defenders can have a free way crossfire onto the blue entrance. The door, behind the pillars, and L. But for your averages, Joe's ranked match play, just reinforce it. You're now left with the two reinforcements. One it will be optional, and the other one will go to the laundry facing freezer. The left one. The left one is because for the same reason as the laundry, you will be able to contest the freezer push from a very solid place. The question now is, why not to reinforce the buff? But to answer that, let's see where we all had the rotations and the line of sight. Let's start immediately with the laundry to the freezer leg level. Whenever I mentioned leg level, that means a one-way angle in the favor for defenders. Any attacker getting in the freezer from the freezer stairs will be spotted from the box. Not only that, due to this one reinforcement, attackers have to worry about that spot, the leg level spot, and anyone by the freezer door. That is another free angles to fight against, and the main reason why freezer push can be easily stopped into ranked against any less coordinated teams. You need a rotation between the sides and the head level line of sight to close at wall. Another rotation needs to be put from the supply to the L, and we will get reasons why to that later. An optional line of sight can be put from the supply to the watchtower stairs. For the essential barbed wires, you will need one by the watchtower stairs. Freezer stairs and the laundry to the lobby drop double doors. By barred wires, you can use a woof woof from Malusi, Gumine, and any other traps, which are fine. Okay, for the recommended utility, it is two deployable shields. One will be the freezer to obviously deny the freezer push, and one more needs to be put in the L facing bunker. This is the main reason why you need a rotation to supply and one reinforcement still in the pockets. Because when necessary, go back and reinforce. The bonus points are if you plan to bandit trick this wall, because the only way to deny the bandit tricking is over the shelves. For another spot, you need someone watching freezer. You will need someone around the tower stairs or pillars, and the third person needs to be in the L, and later in the supply. It will be great to have your roamers denying the lobby push, but having intel on the lobby push is needed. Roamers on the different levels on this side is not mandatory. For the solo queue setups, I might make them in a solo queue setup video. Let me know guys if you would like to see them. Let's go for the second most liked objective, which is kids and dorms. The go to attack in ranked here is to get the control of the tower. Get attic control simultaneously with attacking bedroom and the trophy, and opening up the game's wall. So with having said this, let's see how to stall and stop attackers doing that. 
First and foremost, you can copy the L tactic in the previous example. Plane the tower, one reinforcement on the right side. Rotate through the rotation and then reinforce it. But let's go to the actual utility, a default strat. You will need two reinforcements for the upper attic and two by the tarp. The tarp walls are reinforced because you will be playing in the tarp. Another set of the reinforcements should go to the game's walls. The attic as well as the game's walls are committed to be electrolyzed or at least jammed. The final wall has to be between the kids and the dorms due to the double window angle. The other three reinforcements are optional. Teams usually use them for a roam game below. Since we are done with the reinforcements, let's talk about the rotations and the line of sights. You will need a rotation between the tarp and the kids so you can continuously contest the attic and the tarp push. Losing that area is not ideal. Another rotation should be between the kids and the dorms, and the final rotation should be between the games and the dorms. Consider that they can plant in the dorms as well as in the games. Also, if you have not noticed, I call the kids dorms just kids, and dorm main hall just dorms. This might be a little bit confusing, but you want to have very short calls. For the line of sights, open up the default line spot as well as the leg level angle from the tarp to the kids. So even if you lost the attic tarp control, a taker still cannot get onto the tarp area due to the kids defenders. You can open up the top part of the tarp attic walls, so you can throw a C4 over it. Since we are here, destroy the attic hedge, as that's another angle for attackers to worry about if they are crossing the attic. Speaking about the angles and the attic, put in the attic a barbed wire slightly a bit back from the hatch, so they, when trying to melee it, are fully exposed on the tarp defender. A deployable shield on the attic, slightly away from the window so it can be blown towards the sledgehammer will be very handy there to slow down their pushes through the attic. You will need a trap by the entry to the door of the trophy. I wouldn't put a barbed wire in case you want to play close with the shotgun by that spot. And the final barbed wire has to be put by the Y stairs. You could have already guessed a few spots to play in this side, which is one by the attic, the other person should be in the trophy in the early round and then moving back to the dorms. And the final guy can be in the kids. If you don't have roamers, you need someone by the top five stairs. Another good spot to be is by the dorms corner. Important note here is that smoke can smoke glitch from the kids. It is time to go for the first floor objectives and they are pretty even in the terms of the competitive. But kitchen and dining requires a little less coordination, therefore I will argue that it can be a bit better side in the ranked. You can expect a small tower push with the shower hole pressure as well as the wide stairs window. To counter this, we'll start reinforcing dining to tower walls for the obvious reasons and then we'll go for the rotation to reinforce these two shower walls. There it is recommended to have someone with the impacts, like Maestro, that can play there. He will need a leg level line of sight in this position. A rotation should be there. I need to explain this hole before anything else, because this is where the majority of the round will happen. The leg level line of sight is definitely one sided angle for you. But that hole also allows you to impact trick the other wall. If the wall is destroyed, you are pushed back. The other shower reinforcement denies the vertical angles of the showers from the office. Rotation enables you to play more fluid as well as having the deployable shield by the hole facing small tower. This means that your shower player can be pushed only from the small tower. And if he's pushed, the attacker can pretty much start to plant in the dining. These are four reinforcements. Two more reinforcements can be put by the kitchen facing meeting, and the rest four are for the top floor roamers. Attic and games. Top floor rotations are dependent on you, but to open up the kitchen hedge as well as make rotation towards the security. Here's a map of the first floor where the utility is being put, because it was kind of confusing, right? We'll need a barbed wire by the shower hole as well as by the kitchen hole. All the utilities are up to you. You will need someone in the showers and someone in the kitchen. The rest three are really optional. The final bomb site, meeting at kitchen, will usually be attacked from the tower and the attic. And for that reason, we will reinforce the tower to the attic walls as well as the tower to meeting walls. That is four. For objective, you will need two more meeting walls to be reinforced, facing lobby, and the final first floor wall to reinforce is from kitchen to dining. 
You have three left, but we'll use just two for the game's rules, as you will have to play very heavy Rome game, due to the meeting being exposed on the hatch. So having anti control is pretty neat. And kitchen can be nine from the above as well. Having said this, you can even play with the clash in the attic, but you can repeat the utility from the second defense. A barbed wire and a deployable shield. You can also with one kite cloak get all four tower walls electrolyzed. For the other utility, you will need one by the green hole. As well as in the split. This defense requires more coordination than the all other four, but you will need one person per side and other three roaming on the top most likely. Some teams play to the poles underneath, and some teams extended to the meeting. So the both ideas will be good ideas. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long, and thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.